Hi, good people. Hi, TIs. Hi, consumers. It's Sherry, and I'm here with some free and valuable information, some information that's going to help you to benefit yourselves as well as others. Okay, so what am I talking about today? Real briefly, um, today's Tuesday, and every Tuesday I have a tip, okay? So it's called Tip Tuesday here on my channel. So um, just helpful little tips, okay? So we'll make it real brief. Um, just so you know, for anybody, any of you who did not know, and excuse me, hi everybody, um, I just got done working out. Wonderful, wonderful. If you guys haven't done it at all, I highly suggest it. It, it really, you know, it gets those endorphins released and gets your, you know, sweats off some fat, builds some muscle. It's really great. So if you guys, um, any of you, especially TIs, if you're thinking of getting healthier, you know, even with sleep deprivation and all the other torture tactics, the bullying, the incessant bullying, the, you know, the name calling, the insulting, the um, verbal abuse and all all that um, it is still good to uh, to try to be healthy okay we have to try to to overcome this any way we can okay so it's a good idea to join a gym um, do you, you get uh, you know is there targeting there's targeting everywhere anyways I digress so um, <clears throat> we'll make this real brief everything that has a screen okay I'm talking electronic technology okay everything that has a screen phones, TVs, tablets, laptops, computers. Those screens can be used uh, for two-way uh, visual. Okay, so basically the screen can turn into a camera. Correct? We've all done this. That's video calling. Okay, now uh, that can be done remotely and it can your phones and your devices can be hacked okay now uh you would think you would notice if your phone is hacked or if your tv is hacked or something you'd say oh the screen's all you know do blue blue warping and I, I would be able to know and i would do something about it not necessarily okay when your phone is hacked and if they've hacked your camera your screen will not show anything different if you're on a call your phone will still show that you're on a call if your phone could be off the screen could be black Yet, it will be recording video in real time. Anything with a screen, that's uh, phones, TVs, uh, tablets, everything in your home. Picture your TV. You say, hey, you and your, say you're married, you and your husband, okay? You're, uh, this is, I don't know why I'm on a tangent. <laughs> you know, because sex life is important when you're married, you know? Or I would think if you're dating and you're choosing, you know, to do that as part of your dating, you know, ritual, which most people do, um, you know, that's important, okay? And it's a, our way when we have a mate to show love to them, right? So technically, it's supposed to be your spouse. You got, I'm not getting on a high horse today. You guys already know the deal. You know, women, ladies, Mm -mm, don't be giving it away and they don't put a ring on it. You know what happens when you do that? You're taking a big gamble. Is it, are you, you know, do you want to gamble with your feelings? I don't, not anymore. Mm -mm. Nope. If I'm not good enough to marry, I'm not good enough to have sex with, period. Anyways, I digress. So say you are married, okay, or you're in a relationship, okay? All right, whatever. People end up getting married later. It's better sooner though. You know what I'm saying? Why wait? Why wait? <laughs> I mean, wait, but not too long. Anyways, you're in your bedroom per se. You got a TV in your bedroom. You're having sexual relations with your spouse. It's all legal. It's all consensual. It's all good. And guess what? Ding, 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 ding. Some pervert, <laughs> some pervert organized crime has access to your TV, okay? One of your, uh, maybe you don't know, maybe it's somebody close to you. One of your friends or family has hacking capabilities. And bam, your TV screen has actually become a camera. And you're putting on a porno for Tom, Dick, and Harry. In your city across this nation, they're live streaming you privately, remotely. You don't know. Uh, on your TV because it's a screen. Yes? Same thing with your phone. You know, you get home, you're feeling a little frisky, your husband's there, bam, you guys both, you know, you set your phones down. If you don't know this, you don't think about it. Your phone's on the, you know, say you're having uh, relations in the living room. You don't usually have relations in the living room. Your phone's right there. Bam, if somebody's got it hacked, then your screen now is a two-way camera and Tom, Dick, and Harry are watching. <laughs> it's not funny though, it's sick. Okay, um, who would do that, Sherry? Why would somebody do that? I don't know. Pornography is a booming business. Now, there are some people, and in this day and age with cameras, they think, hey, what they don't know won't hurt them. I'm not hurt. It peeping toms. Get it? Our phones, our devices, our tablets, our freaking TVs in our home are all venues, channels, portals for peeping times. And you'll never know it, you guys. You'll never know it. You'll look at your screen. will be perfectly blank. You could be watching YouTube. The screen will still show whatever you were looking at. I'm telling you, technology is, is advanced. Okay, come on now. They can hack the human brain biohacking. Okay, you know, Elon Musk could create a neural link that reads your thoughts in real time. And can, you know, <laughs> have it read out. Not just Elon Musk. There's other brands too. Come on, guys. Like, I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phones, anything with a screen, phones, tablets, computers, TVs in the home, in the bedroom, okay, can be remotely hacked and the person can use your screen as a camera, as a portal to look into your life, a looky-loo, everything you're doing. Well, I'm single. I say, okay, let's have another example. I'm single. I don't have a, a boyfriend or a husband to have sex with. I'm not doing anything. Well, maybe you're talking about your finances. Maybe you're talking about something personal. Maybe you're talking to somebody about somebody else that you don't want that person to hear about. That's called privacy. Right? Good old-fashioned privacy. It's not a secret. Whew. It's privacy. Blah, blah. Not with these phones. Not with these screens. Okay, you guys got it. I'm not going to be the dead horse. You know, sometimes I feel like I feel like a naggy, you know, Debbie Downer. But if I don't tell you these things, guys, who's going to? If not me, then who? Okay, I'm dramatic. It's not dead dramatic, but no, really, okay? <laughs> Anything with a screen can be hacked and can be turned into a camera, okay? And it doesn't take a genius to do it, okay? You can, there's lots of apps. There's lots of these teenage nerds or nerd. You know, I don't mean to say it like that, but there's these, people have time. Some people don't work. They got all the long day to play and figure out these, this technology. And it's not that hard where there's a will, there's a way because it can be done. The phone's technology is built for, you know, video calls, two-way calls. All you got to do is hack in and make sure the phone doesn't, you know, that screen doesn't change. Okay. So, so knowing that my, um, my advice, well, what I do is I try to make sure that my phones, I, I don't own a TV. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not going to give me that way, but I make sure my devices are covered. I try to, I never just leave my phone open on the counter. Very rarely. I always turn it screen facing down and then don't forget there's a, excuse me, Blah. <laughs> you know, got a little dry mouth from working out. Anyways, the, uh, you know, the phone, the back facing, the rear facing camera, cover that up too. Because all these phones, all these tablets, all these devices can become two way cameras. Okay. So your life, your life as you know, it can be peeped upon by any Tom, Dick or Harry that has a uh, motive to do it and has capability. And it doesn't take much to be capable of it. Just a couple brain cells and they'll figure it out. Okay. I digress. That's it. That's my tip. Tip Tuesday. Everything with the screen can become a camera in real time, live streaming your life. Okay. So, I mean, hey, what do you, what, what is a person to do? I guess, you know, as a society, we just got to be perfect. I guess you can never pick your nose. God forbid. Oh, the camera was on. Nobody picks their nose, do they? Oh, especially not women. Oh, no, we don't even fart, do we? We don't scratch our head. We don't, like, weirdly scratch our eye, <coughs> cough, spit when we talk. Even if you got pretty teeth, sometimes you spit when you talk, especially if you're excited. Blah, blah. <laughs> Am I right? You just got to be perfect, everybody. We just got to be perfect. Just always on camera. Always, always, always. Smile for the camera. What? You just woke up? What? When you have sex, you know, I mean, obviously you're doing a show. That's what the hackers think. You got a TV in your bedroom. You didn't unplug it. You didn't cover, you didn't cover the screen, which I would suggest unplugging it and covering the screen with a, with a sheet, a dark sheet, but be careful because then if the TV's hot, you know, fire hazard. So be careful, you know, make sure it's totally cooled down before you cover it, you know, but if I wasn't using it, I would totally unplug it and I would keep it covered. Yeah. Yes, this is the day and age we're living to. Welcome, welcome, welcome to advanced satellite-based technology, everybody. How are we liking it? How are we going to deal with it? Well, I mean, if you're in your husband, you're having sex, then I guess you're just going to have to have perfect super sex then. You know, God forbid anybody's having an off day. You're a little sick. You're tired. Oh, your energy. Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. You got to put on a show. You got to put on a five-star show for the people. Yeah. Never mind you, the people who are watching are probably the lowest, scummiest scumbags on the earth right? But they're the ones watching. They got cameras. Yeah. <laughs> and they're watching all of us. Hackers, peeping toms. What, you think uh, just because technology came, the uh, peeping toms went away? People have voyeurism ha habits, problems? You think that got better with technology? No, guys, it got worse because now you have the capability of doing it. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. So knowing that, my advice to you would be if anything with the screen can become two-way camera, that means you cover your phone at all times, okay? You cover your TV and unplug it at all times. Oh, Sherry, nobody would do that. I'm not that important. They don't want important people. They're tired of watching the Real Housewives, real TV, reality. That's not reality enough anymore. This is reality. Real people. You don't even got to be a celebrity. You know, you're a celebrity to your family and friends. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I mean, that's what celebrities are. They're just people, you know, who have special talent. Some of the, some of them are not even, you know, no offense. They're not especially talented. They just have something and that people want to see. So don't underestimate yourself. Somebody could like what you like, what you are, who you are, what you do, how you talk. You know what I'm saying? You might talk like this. Somebody might like that, you know? You know, you might be a flaming weirdo talking like this and somebody might like that. <laughs> okay, so who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Right? We're all living our lives because everything is a two, everything with a screen. Again, I'll repeat it. Phones, TVs, laptops, tablets, they all become two-way cameras with the right hacker. Who would hack me? Who would hack you? Anybody. It's also a source of revenge. Do you ever hear of that revenge porn? right? Say you and your boyfriend, you and your husband having a little sex tape or having a little sex, right? I mean, you know, it's, you know, seeing if you're not married, but a lot of us do it. We've done it. We've done it. I've done it in the past. I'm sure a million of, I know all you got, a lot of you guys are too, not, not all of you, but a lot of you are, okay? That's the way of the world. It shouldn't be, but it is, you know, obviously we don't learn as a people. It doesn't help anything, but okay, I digress. Somebody could be recording that. So what's the big deal? Because it's private. That's the big deal. Oh, well, if you go to the bathroom, what's the big deal if somebody videotapes you? Because it's fucking private. That's why. It's fucking private. It's not a secret. Nobody's keeping a secret. Yeah, I took a shit. That don't mean I want everybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry. You know, excuse my language. That doesn't mean every, you know, everybody should be able to see it, right? It should, you know, on some weirdo site. But there's people who do it. The same people that are into weird porno. I'm not, I don't want to get... I don't want to, you know, go off into a tangent, but my people, you guys are smart. You already know what goes on, you know, minds, minds can get very deviant, okay, especially with boredom, you know, no job, no nothing to do, you get deviant, okay, some people more than others, okay, a um, lot of testosterone, a lot of ideas, just, you know, a lot of sexual desire that's not being fulfilled in this day and age with phones and cameras and, um, I mean, with phones and TV, all the, the, the capability to hack somebody, to stalk somebody is, is easier now more than ever. Okay. And it can be done and, and people do it and people do it. Okay. And friends and family will be the main ones to do it to you. It's a way to humiliate you. You know, you humiliate somebody. Ha ha ha. Right. What do we learn in the Bible? Genesis. When the, when the man and woman found out they were naked, what did they do? La da da. They kept walking around. No, they covered themselves. We cover. That's why we're all walking around with clothes right? Sometimes double. Why? We're covering ourselves. It's proper. So when you're watching somebody without their permission, you're uncovering them and you're trying to humiliate them. It's what it is. Humiliation, torture. That's what can be done. So I want to again, point this out. Then I'm done, okay? I just want to make sure I'm hitting home with this. Every device, every phone, every computer, every tablet, every TV has a screen, and that screen can be hacked, and it can become a two-way camera, and people can watch you from your own devices and your own TV. So if you don't want to be watched, please take the proper precautions because I don't want what happened to me to happen to you, and they will hack your literal TV in your home. Okay, you keep one in your bedroom, they'll be watching you get undressed and get your jammies on. Do you really need an audience for that? I think not. Okay, that's it. That was my advice, guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hope you have a good day. All right, Tip Tuesday. Everything with a screen can become a two-way camera. Is it a secret? No. It's privacy. Okay, say goodbye to privacy. Bye, privacy. No. No. It's not, that's not okay. It's not okay. It's not right, but it's okay. I don't know. It's not even okay. It's not even right. It's, it's disgusting. Okay. But, um, that's it. That's it. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Bye.